today, 9-18-18, Itzel and Luis brought Anthony Romeo Ventura into this world. And now, a quick look at the family. Say hi, Luis. Say hi, Ito. And now, we will go. So, we just don't want Ventura here. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am actually going to be talking about my birth experience. So like what went down, what I had done and all that. Uh, my baby was actually due on the 19th of September of 2018. It came a day, be uh, day before his due date. Started off as a typical day, um, the 18th of September. Um, just going on about my day and that whole day my dog was following me and like wouldn't leave my side people may think this is weird but i think dogs can definitely sense when something is up because i mean my dog wasn't even leaving my side so that explains it i had taken a nap um that afternoon i woke up around um 5 6 p.m and my water broke and i'm a first time mom i actually thought i peed myself I wasn't sure. I told my husband, I'm like, I think my water broke. And he said, stop joking around like that. And I called the on-call nurse, told her what was going on. They were asking if I was having contractions. If I saw the baby's head, things like that. I said no. Um, so I went into the hospital. I th I'm here because I think my water broke. So then they took me into a room. And they do like this little test on you to see if your water broke. And they start putting that little heart monitor on your stomach. And then they said, we don't even need to do the test. Your water definitely broke. My OB was already there and she saw me. She knew me. And gave me a gown, took me to my room. And I was just um, there with my OB, giving me steps. And I just waited. And yeah, I was ready to have a baby that day. I was actually in Leo for 16 hours because I came into the hospital at around 6 p.m., um, up all night, um, and all morning, but yeah. They actually had to start my contractions. Um, they gave me Pitocin to start the contractions. Let me tell you, when you're in labor and you're having contractions, I can't even begin to describe the pain. I was literally in tears, like I was literally bawling. I, I looked like... Yeah, I look like that. <laughs> I even had a nurse, too, that was, like, looking at me the entire time, like... Just breathe. You need to breathe. Well, I couldn't even breathe well because I was, from all the crying and all the snot and everything, they actually had to put a gas mask on me so I could just breathe properly. I got that mask. It was helping me breathe. And it was the absolute worst pain ever. Like, imagine period cramps times 100. That's how bad it was. I was just dilating very slowly, very slowly. I actually got a medication. It's kind of like ibuprofen. I was still in a lot of pain. I was like falling asleep and then all of a sudden I would wake up with like like breathing and like moaning from all the pain of the contractions. So that didn't really help. I even threw up. Like I was already feeling dizzy from all the medication that was given to me. I hadn't even eaten anything after I woke up from my nap, and I told my um, husband and my sister to go get me some McDonald's. Bad idea. Um, I ate some McDonald's, and my mom was like, just eat half of it, don't eat a lot, and I ended up throwing up during my labor process, and it was horrible. I got the shot for all the pain, and then it definitely did get scary because um, my baby's pressure was going down, so was mine. I was really dis just dizzy and disoriented. I didn't even know. About eight, seven nurses and then, like two doctors that came in to check up on me. That's how bad it was. And then after that pressure um, scared, they said, you know, it's finally time to push. It's, you're 10 centimeters dilated. Um, it's time to push. I pushed, and the baby wasn't coming out. 
I was pushing for quite a while. So then what they said, let's use the vacuum. To any moms, I'm going to give you guys a little warning. Um, if any doctors or nurses ask you to use the vacuum, don't use the vacuum, in my opinion. The reason I say this is because um, they used a vacuum on my kid for a little bit because I wasn't able to push him out. Um, it gave my son a kind of a bad lump on his head due to the pressure from pulling him out. To save you all the stress from that, don't use a vacuum. I mean, just don't do it. They couldn't get him out with a vacuum though. I had to have a c-section. They had given me the epidural already so I was already numb. They put me on a bed, they took me into the surgery room and I just remember myself asking me, God, just please like, make sure my baby comes out healthy. Like, I was scared. C-section is scary. You would just feel a lot of pressure. Imagine someone doing this really hard to your stomach. Like, that's what it feels like. My husband was with me and my baby was born. And he was a healthy baby. And the recovery for the C-section... Oh. oh. I mean... You can't walk, you can barely move. When you cough or sneeze, it hurts. I couldn't even breastfeed my baby, my baby for a couple days because I was in so much pain. Like, it's horrible. Overall, I had a great experience at the hospital that I gave birth in here in Minnesota. Mercy Hospital. Great um, and workers there, nurses. Very patient, very nice. It's amazing what a woman has to go through just to have a baby. I had to go through a lot of pain to have my baby, and I wouldn't change anything about it. Baby's a blessing. He came here and he's healthy and he's happy and I'm happy. That is my birthing experience. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, stay tuned for my next video. How do you feel like a dad? feels marvelous. Spectacular. What would you like to say to Anthony? What would I say, Anthony? <laughs> I just barely became a dad a few minutes ago. It feels good. It feels a few good. minutes ago. A few minutes ago. It feels good. How do you feel? Tired of pain. Any words you'd like to say to Angela? Uh, yeah, that I love you and that you better love me too because your birth wasn't easy.